My name is Max. I'm part of a team that created Fice Health, the first social identity network. With this project, we aim to provide an online tool that empowers people in a world where their personal information is extremely valuable. But today, I'm not here to talk about that, but another topic our team is interested in. So, stick around. Did you know that there are platforms that you can use to verify if the news you read on a daily basis are false? Let's get a closer look at some experiences about a phenomenon called fact-checking, a topic that COVID-19 pandemic has made into a trending topic. The fact-checking phenomenon of WatchBlog consists of identifying false news that are circulating in the digital medias. These news generally become viral through social networks, so be alert! Fact-checking originates hand-in-hand -hand with investigation journalism in the United States during the first decades of the 20th century. By then, it was very much linked to presidential campaigns. It became necessary to verify the declarations and figures offered by politicians checking for impositions or errors. Right now, fact-checking websites apply data journalism techniques. In general, they specialize in areas like politics or science. In September 2015, the International Fact-Checking Network IFCN, was created, an entity that englobes fact-checking agencies all over the world and that looks out for their correct functioning. This network is part of the Pointer Institute. In 2016, this entity approved the Principles Code that, as of today, 73 actively verified signatories comply with all over the world. Three fact-checking websites. PolitiFact. This site is property of the Tampa Bay Times newspaper of Florida. It specializes in demonstrating the veracity of the declarations of politics and analysts. For this, they use the truth meter They won the Pulitzer Prize for covering the presidential campaign in 2008. Chequeado. It's part of the foundation, the public voice La Voz Publica. The Argentinian website, first of its kind in Latin America, verifies the public speech with emphasis on the data. It provides its services to 20 press media of 14 countries. Neutral. Founded by the journalist Anna Pastor in January 2018, its catalog is the most known and controversial fact-checking page of Spain. Its work is focused on three areas. The production of TV programs, fact-checking, and the investigation in artificial intelligence. As it was expected, the coronavirus pandemic has rapidly increased the number of fake news sore hoaxes. Social networks have eased the incredible reaching levels of these false information. Two online services have recently betted on supporting fact-checking, WhatsApp and YouTube. WhatsApp has created a chatbot that connects its users with the results of over 80 organizations that verify data around the world. After its alliance with the World Health Organization, WHO, now it has joined the Pointer Institute to counteract false news related to the pandemic. Meanwhile, YouTube announced that its system of data verification had reached the United States. Until today, it was only available in India and Brazil. This tool offers in every search that the user does an information box that offers verified data on the subject. In the era of infoxication, with so much media and information available, it becomes difficult to know the truth. The team which I work with thinks that knowing the source well, it's vital to be able to judge its veracity. That's why we're creating FiSelf, the first social identity network. I'll be back soon to keep talking about FiSelf and the topics that make our network necessary. The exchange will even be more productive if you leave some comments with your opinion in this video. Subscribe and follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Telegram. Always remember, find your digital self that is more important than people give it credit for. Keep in touch.